today? Are you okay? I am fine, thank you. Are you taking care of yourself? Staying home? Washing your hands always? Good, me too. All right, my darlings, today we have a really special class. We are going to talk about fairy tales, all right? So, do you know any fairy tales? Do you like fairy tales? I guess everybody does, right? Acho que todo mundo gosta de contos de fadas. In English, we say fairy tales, all right? Can you think of any fairy tales you already heard? Consegue pensar em um conto de fadas que você ouviu? Uh, a fairy tale that you really like? Algum que marcou vocês, que gosta bastante? Mm, I guess everyone has a favorite fairy tale. I'm sure you have one too. So, I'm going to give you some examples so you can remember if you know these. Do you remember the little red riding hood? Chapeuzinho vermelho? Yeah, I know you know that. Um, how about Rapunzel? Rapunzel, you know that too. And how about Jack and the Beanstalk? João e o Pé de Feijão? These are all examples of fairy tales, okay? São todos exemplos de contos de fadas. I'm going to show you one that I really like. It's Rapunzel. And with that, you can remember the other ones that you know, okay? So, I'm going to show you here. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, acho que todo mundo já conhece né, o conto de, da Rapunzel. Mas quem não conhece vai conhecer, que eu vou passar agora. And if you know, it's really cool to watch it again. É, Para quem já leu, é legal assistir também o desenho. Uh, it's very nice. It's really quick, ok? É uh, uma versão resumida, bem rapidinha. But I'm sure you are going to enjoy it. So let's watch. Once upon a time, in a land far away, lived a very sad witch. The reason for her sadness was that she would never have a child. However, if she had a child, she would be able to pass on her deep secrets and powers to her. And so she made up her mind. She would take away the first baby girl that was ever to be born and raise her as if it were hers, away from everything. The magic of evil shall forever take over the world! Not so far from where the witch lived, lived a couple who made a living by farming. One day, the man was surprised with the amazing news. The lady gave the good news to her husband. We're having a baby! Unfortunately, their happiness didn't last very long. The young lady got very ill. As the days went on by, she began losing weight. If she didn't get well soon, she was going to lose the baby. Her husband tried every medicine and beneficial herb that there was, but couldn't cure her. The last doctor he went to told him that there was only one way that his wife would get well. There is an evil hearted witch. She's the only one that has this healing herb. She's your only help. The man gathered all his courage and went over to the witch's castle and knocked on the door. Fearlessly knocking on my door? Hmm, you must have an important matter. Mm, my wife is ill and she's getting worse. I've heard you have the best remedy for such situations as ours. Really? And why should I help you? I beg you, please don't reject me. My wife is pregnant. If I don't heal her, I will lose them both. After hearing his situation, the witch changed her mind and decided to help him. If you say so, I'll help you. The witch gave him the healing herb. And give a piece of this herb's leaves to your wife every day. You will see that she will heal. The young man was very happy now. He ran back home. His wife ate a piece of the leaves every day. She began to heal and gain the weight she had lost. But the herb the witch 
which had given finished a few days later. The young lady's illness began all over again. This time round, it got worse in a shorter period of time. Having no choice, her husband knocked on the witch's door once again. The witch knew that he would be back. She took out a bag of seeds. These are the seeds that healed your wife. You should get these seeds and plant them in your garden, and you will be able to save your wife and child. But I have one condition. If you have a baby girl, you will give her to me. I can never accept such an offer. Suit yourself. The witch shut the door on his face. Sadly, the man returned back home. He wasn't able to tell anything to his wife. As the days went on by, the young lady got worse. The baby was now in danger. The young man had trouble sleeping now. If he didn't accept the witch's offer, he was going to lose both his wife and his baby. But if he accepted the offer and ended up having a baby boy, both his wife and son would survive. And so he made up his mind and headed to the witch's castle. He accepted her offer and went back home with the bag of seeds. He planted the seeds the witch had given him. The seeds grew in a very short period of time. The young man helped his wife eat the leaves he had grown. As the days went on by, his wife got better. She had fully recovered and gave birth to a healthy baby. But the young man was facing his fear now. It's a beautiful baby girl. The same day they were having a big celebration at the king's palace. The queen had given birth to a baby boy. The king was very happy because now after him, he had a prince that could lead to the country. The people loved their good-hearted king and queen very much. No one would ever know that one day in the future, the lives of these two babies would meet. The husband and wife's happiness did not last very long. Right on that same day, the witch came and asked for the baby. The couple handed over their baby in tears and said their farewells. Oh, my baby! Oh, baby! <laughs> She's mine now, but don't worry, I will take good care of her. And I will name her Rapunzel. The witch took the baby to the tower. This tower was hidden in the deep forest. The witch went up the stairs to the very top of the tower. They arrived at the room on the top floor. The witch placed the baby in her crib. Rapunzel, my beautiful baby. Thinking that the witch was her mother, Rapunzel continued living her life in this tower. During daytime, she would go down the tower, play in the front yard, and at night time, she would go back up to her little room at the top of the tower. The witch never cut Rapunzel's golden hair. She brushed Rapunzel's hair every single day. The little girl liked this very much. Years had passed, Rapunzel had grown, and now she was a teenager. One day, the witch approached the tower and called out to Rapunzel. Rapunzel, my daughter, let your golden hair down. Rapunzel let her golden hair down. Her hair could reach the ground now. Nice. The witch went up the tower stairs. Then stood at the top of the staircase and began to whisper magical words. Suddenly, the stairs began to crumble. No spell in the world will ever be able to bring these stairs back again. <laughs> Watching all that was happening with wonder, Rapunzel knew that she could never get out of the tower again. 
The witch was using Rapunzel's hair to go down the tower every day, and in the evening, she would arrive at the bottom of the tower and call out to her. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Let your golden hair down, it's your mother! After hearing her voice, Rapunzel would let her golden hair down. And so the witch would hold onto her hair and climb up. Mother, why won't you allow me to leave the tower? Why do you keep me up here? Oh, my darling girl, I love you so much. I'm just trying to protect you from the evil of the world. Rapunzel spent all her days singing and talking to the birds that would visit her. Back at the king's palace, the prince that was born on the same day as Rapunzel had grown up and become a young man. Now the old and sick king wished that his son, the prince, would carry his father's throne. Marry a princess and give him a grandchild. Although many princesses came by the palace, the prince couldn't see any of them as his beloved wife. In the end, the prince went on a long journey, hoping to find his real love. When he arrived at the corner of the forest where the tower was hidden, he asked the man. I had never come to this forest before. Let's go to the forest. Maybe we'll find a shortcut. My prince, this forest is magical. It's said that whoever enters never gets out. You said it yourself. This might just be a rumor. Let's go and see for ourselves. The prince and his men entered the forest. The prince was rather sure of himself. But his men, not so much. A while later, the tower where Rapunzel lived appeared. Later, they heard the singing voice of Rapunzel. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. What a beautiful voice! After making his way closer to the tower, the prince noticed Rapunzel singing. For a while, he watched her in admiration. Right at that moment, the witch appeared and yelled out to Rapunzel. Rapunzel! Rapunzel, let your golden hair down! Hearing the witch calling, Rapunzel let her beautiful golden hair down. And so the witch held on her hair and climbed up. So, her name is Rapunzel. The prince decided to stick around the tower for some time and watched Rapunzel. The witch climbed down Rapunzel's hair every morning and at night climbed back up again. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Let your golden hair down! In the end, the prince gathered all his courage and on a day where the witch wasn't present, he approached the tower and called out. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! This was the first time Rapunzel was hearing another voice other than her mother. At first, she was a little hesitant, but later she was very curious as to who this might be. And so she looked down from the window. She saw a young man looking at her from below. Prince of this kingdom, I heard your amazing voice and I wanted to meet you. I'm not allowed to speak to strangers. Please go away. I mean no harm, I promise. Please come down so that we can talk. I can't. There is no staircase. Right that instant, Rapunzel saw her mother coming. Hurry, you must get away from here. Mother shouldn't see you. The prince quickly hid behind the trees. Once the witch reached the tower, she called out. And once Rapunzel let her golden hair down, she climbed up. The prince began visiting every day. They were
Ravenel friends with Rapunzel. And she now knew that the prince meant no harm, and so she let her golden hair down. The prince grabbed onto her beautiful blonde hair and climbed up. Rapunzel was extremely excited. It was someone she had never seen before, standing right there in front of her. Why is your mother holding you in prison in this tower? Mother tells me that the world is filled with evil. She's trying to protect me. But this is ridiculous. Why would a mother lock her daughter away in such place? Yes, it's true that there's evil out there, but there's also beauty amongst it all. Rapunzel was curious to see if what the prince was saying was true. And all she ever wanted to do was see and get to know the world outside. At last, they made up their minds and wanted to run away together. That night, when the witch returned to the tower, she saw that Rapunzel had let her golden hair down. Rapunzel saw me coming. She has let her hair down. After climbing up the tower, what does she see? Rapunzel's hair cut and tied up on a piece of metal. But Rapunzel was nowhere to be seen. At that moment, she realized that Rapunzel had ran away. Rapunzel cut her own hair and hung it on a piece of metal. With the help of her hair, she and the prince both climbed down the tower. forest behind. The story about the forest being magical was something the witch had made up because she didn't want anyone finding Rapunzel. Rapunzel and the prince finally arrived at the palace. Taking Rapunzel with him, the prince approached the king and queen. And what does he see? The king standing in front of him, healthy as ever. Father, you look very healthy. How did this happen? A healing herb cured your father, my son. Let me see. What was it called? Oh, yes. Rapunzel. Rapunzel? The prince began telling all that had happened to him. Then the king told him that an old couple had given him the herb. Then he began telling the story about the evil-hearted witch and the harm she had caused to the old couple by taking their baby on the day she was born. The prince and Rapunzel made their way to the old couple's house. As soon as the lady saw this golden-haired girl, she knew it was her baby Rapunzel that was taken from her. My daughter, my daughter, finally, I have got you. the true story from the beginning, Rapunzel now had reunited with her parents. Soon after, the prince and Rapunzel were married, and they lived happily ever after. So, what happened to the witch that was stuck in the tower? The king captured the witch and locked her up in the tower, and put guards at the bottom of the tower so that she couldn't escape. Along with the witch, her witchcraft and all her deepest secrets disappeared. Okay, darling, so did you enjoy Rapunzel's story? Yes, it's one of my favorites. So, can you see uh, in this fairy tale? And like other fairy tales as well. Sempre no conto de fadas, uh, there is a main character, and we can see the main character evolving. O, o, o personagem, né, o principal, que ali é a Rapunzel, a gente viu a evolução dela, né? Tudo o que aconteceu na vida dela. E sempre tem um final feliz, né? There was a happy ending. She met the prince, and they were happily ever after. Mas ela sofreu, né? Primeiro ela não conhecia a mãe, depois ela conheceu. Então, em todo conto de fadas, dá pra gente ver essa evolução. Os acontecimentos da vida ensinam coisas pra gente. 
They teach us many things, okay? In fairy tales, we can learn a lot of different things, okay? So, I want you to think, guys, of a fairy tale. Já falei na live de ontem para vocês, né? Irem pensando. É, about a fairy tale you like. Algum conto de fadas que vocês gostam, que ouviram quando eram menores, ouviram agora, né? Recentemente também. And you're going to bring it on Friday to our live class. Vamos trazer para a live de sexta, que será o nosso pajamas day. We're all gonna be in our best pajamas. And telling fairy tales. So, choose a fairy tale you love. And then you need to tell the class in English. Ok? Podem escolher o conto de fadas que vocês gostam. Deem uma pesquisadinha na internet que dá para achar em inglês. Para contar para a turma. Ok? I'm going to tell you some as well. Não fiquem tímidos. Se tiverem com vergonha de contar, eu vou ajudar vocês. Ok? Então, não precisam ficar com medo que a Miss vai ajudar vocês a contarem esses fairy tales. Então, uh, we're going to be in PJs telling fairy tales na sexta. Nossa live de sexta, vamos estar de pijaminhas contando esses contos de fadas um para o outro. Ok, my loves. So, I hope you enjoy today's class and I hope you enjoy finding your fairy tale and bringing to our class on Friday, ok? I'll see you tomorrow, we have another video class. Um, let me know if you have any questions, any doubts. Just send me a um, clip column and I'll get back to you. Okay? Bye-bye, my love. See you tomorrow. Bye.